In this video, I'm going to show you this handmade trommel. Is that what this is called, Dave? I would call it a trommel. A sifter. trommel, a sifter. And then uh, it's run by a, what is that? It's actually my leftover rototiller, that I, a hand rototiller <laughs> that I never used because it was a piece of junk. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around and get you a nice view of it all. But I'm going to show you all of this uh, if it starts. <laughs> So Dave, what do you think the odds are of it starting? 50-50. Uh, 50-50, I mean, when's the last time it started? Been, it's been sitting all winter. Meanwhile, I am going to enjoy this. Whoa, that was a one, that was one pull. All right, well, that's good. All right, kill it for just a second. This is my friend Dave, and you know me, and uh, We've been friends our whole lives pretty much, and I'm up here visiting him, and he says, have you seen my trommel I made? And of course, you guys know I like weird homemade stuff, and, uh, and I'm getting ready to jump on a plane here in literally an hour we're leaving for the airport. I said, Dave, can we please, would you please? <laughs> Dave's kind of shy, do you mind, Dave? No, nah, I don't mind. Now you don't have like plans of this on the internet or anything, this is just, just you, right? I have the uh, CAD files to this actual shape that I built in plywood okay. to create the drum. Okay. I wanted to create a much larger drum than I've seen on the internet before, and so it could do a larger volume of stuff. So all I did was get some plywood, you know, map out or draw the shape on the plywood, and then use these 2x4s as a connector that actually holds the wire mesh. I'm using a half inch by half inch like, you know, mesh, but you get a Home Depot. Yeah. Everything was purchased at Home Depot, basically. You basically bought everything at Home Depot. Yeah, just this mesh, this, this galvanized steel here. So the beginning and end has galvanized so that the rocks don't fall through. The dirt falls through the middle, the rocks keep going on. So it's like, you know, like... It's pretty straightforward. There's four, there's two wheels suspended by, you know... Some... I got some metal brackets and I welded them together and I just got some regular old solid rubber tires and I made a track and by keeping two of these close together it makes an automatic you didn't get this track. offline no I just kind of now now why did myself. you say you made your own you can't rent these yeah or what? well I tried to rent one for a bobcat I had a bobcat for a while and I thought maybe they had one for the front of a bobcat and turns out they're like fifteen thousand dollars if you get a real one for an actually, attachment really yeah they make an attachment that will sift the dirt or uh -huh. sift the rocks out but I'm yeah. like, I can't afford 15 You dollars. have nothing but rocks in your yard, yeah, Our do you? yard is complete shell. So it's a new construction. We're trying to get the grass to grow, and the grass will not grow unless you give it some topsoil. So we need topsoil. I got plenty of dirt, but it's all full of rock and shale. So we need a way to get that rock out. So you decided to just build a trimmel and work on it a little bit at a time. Yeah, like, or <laughs> my wife's idea was to get a wheelbarrow, uh -huh. put a screen on it, Throw some I rocks see. on it and shake it. And I'm like, you know, honey, that would take I a really see. long time to get through 30 <laughs> yards of dirt. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, you know what? Well, we'll just work on it a couple hours every night. I was like, okay, well, you go do that. I'm going to build this. So, that's <laughs> it. is that really the origin story? Oh, yeah. That's exactly 100%. What happened. It's really like a piece of art, if you ask me. Well, don't pay any attention to the stand and the wheels. Uh, really, what is impressive is the mechanism itself and how it rolls. Dang! That thing serious! Dave, can I tell you what? Yeah. I'm impressed. Well, thank you. How much you got in? Everyone's going to ask. I mean, even they can do that math themselves. So they just, I have they, no idea they because have I had the rototiller sitting here. I had some wheels sitting here. So it was probably a couple hundred dollars worth of material. And this is about two sheets of plywood at the most. Maybe one sheet if you cut it right. 
Uh, it was probably two, yeah, two sheets. And I obviously kept it the four foot diameter. Now what is this? Everyone's gonna wanna ask. Okay, let me just explain. This two by four, this is the same everywhere. It goes all the way across, slides, slots on to these two rings that are cut identical, correct? Mm -hmm. Did you cut these out by hand or was some kind of a milling machine or something? I created a template and uses a router bit. So what's the inside measurement of this? I have no clue. It's about 36 inches, probably. Because it's four foot to the edges, probably, yeah, and right? Yeah, about six inches on the inside. Okay, so if you take a four foot by four foot piece of plywood, draw a circle, and then draw another circle, and then cut out some grooves, right? Yeah. So this piece here is actually bolted or screwed to the actual plywood. Okay, of the inside, because there's two pieces. And, the and then what's this in the middle here? Is that just That's a, a piece of PVC, a quarter inch piece of PVC, that actually create spans these gaps. Oh, okay, so it's just roll. It's bent around these gaps inside of here, just exactly. So if we so if we here. took this plate off, it would just look just like this. Except oh, it has a yeah. couple extra two by fours in between these to make sure. Okay, I right see. There. I see. So you got like a little one right here that's like that. So when you stretch this stuff around the shape, it's kind of bends nice and flat. Well, I think that's the clever thing people are trying to be figure exactly how you did that. So I'm glad. Right, yeah, glad we it. explained that. And how thick thick of a PVC, like what are you talking quarter about? Quarter inch. Quarter inch PVC. Yeah, that's a piece of that PVC stuff you can get at Home Depot. Okay. We'll put some gas in it and we'll do another one. All right. Honestly, how can you get tired of watching this? You guys are more tired of hearing my voice than you are watching this. Just one more angle, just maybe five more shovels. I really just wanted him to sweat. I mean, I got plenty of video footage of this already. I just don't normally get to tell Dave what to do and he actually listens, so just indulge me. One more, Dave, one more shovel. All right. Two more, give me two more. We've almost got it. This video is going viral. We just put a little effort into it. Can you go get my heart medication? All right, Dave. Dave, very, very impressive. I want to know this. It obviously works really, really well. Everyone's going to want to know how much uh, material have you processed this on it since you built it? Okay, well, this dirt pile that you see here, huh? used to go all the way to where those bricks were. All you have left is nice, compacted, with a little bit of small rocks in it. That's but actually perfect soil after growing and stuff. Oh, wow, that feels good. It's got a little moisture to it. Yep. A little compaction. If I had to do this over again, uh -huh. I would make this probably twice as long as it is now. Make it longer, it. split the screen with the, with the more, uh, the fine. bigger, big, yeah, the fine holes here and the bigger holes here. Yep. Two wheelbarrows underneath. Denise, um, is it true that you wanted to do all of this with a screen and from, shake uh, it. from the from the house? Yeah, it's absolutely true. You thought I was kidding. I wasn't. Kidding. No, I was just hoping she'd say me me me. I was trying to start trouble. Absolutely, like always. That's unusual. See, as soon as we got out here and started doing yard work, look who shows up. I know. She can't resist. I love it. Wow. All right. Could well, it be better? Could it be done a different way? Absolutely. But this method definitely works and it's simple. You don't have to get into a lot of chains and sprockets and gears and pulleys, which I've seen before. Yeah. You can still take that off and use it. Yeah. It, I have all the parts to it too. But so, anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool, Dave. Pretty cool. And it wouldn't be hard to recreate that. You don't need cat files from me, but it's a simple shape with just well i know not just everybody's gonna ask sure. they're gonna ask yeah. i made him work up a sweat it was terrible yeah i was like i was like one more, more shovel five full. more shovels. one more shovel full. <laughs>